Okay, let's see if anything actually happens during the dark hour. Meanwhile, at the moonlight bridge, it is the dark hour and a figure on the bridge looks up at the moon. Another figure approaches it. I've been looking for you. Okay. It's either going to be Ryoji or it's going to be um, one of the Straker boys. Straker boys. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, to answer your question, oh. I ended up here when I came oh, to my senses. Okay. Yeah. The question is, is he being truthful when he says that he doesn't remember? Or is he like an ultimate bad guy and he actually kind of likes us but will not stop his plans? It's strange. The sky and the ground look so weird. And there's no one here. Okay, he's trying to play up that he doesn't know, but does he truly not know? Something terrible has happened here, and yet I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? Probably. <laughs> Are you going to tell us? Forgotten what? The dark hour. A time period few people are active during. But you... You've somehow adapted to it. Too well for a human, in fact. Oh. Is he not human? I guess you can't just say shit like this. Yes, it's all so clear. Now, <clears throat> I understand the reason behind this feeling I sense when you're around. You are not good. Oh. You are my enemy. Your enemy? Your enemy? I need, I need the full answers, please. Enemy? That's right. On a night like tonight, the moon was full. I need two thoughts. It was long ago. Yes, we met once before. As adversaries. Adversaries. Why are you going to say it like that? Am I? I don't know. Who are you? I am Igis. The last remaining anti shadow emergency control weapon. So if she was fighting him, then that makes him a shadow, right? A machine created to destroy shadows. Shadows like you? Created to. Destroy shadows. And you, your true name is Death. Okay, that, that, um, my thought of him being like Pharos has gone from it's probably him to it's definitely him. If his true name is Death, yeah. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. But he broke out. Oh no. He doesn't seem to disagree with her as well. So, oh no. Yes, it was ten years oh, ago. Oh, we got a flashback. The night I was born into this world, I set foot on this very bridge. The sole purpose of my existence is to destroy shadows. Destroy you. It is for that reason that I was given a personality and a persona. I am the 13th Arcana. Okay. I was never meant to be. Everyone called me Death. But when I was born, a part of my power shattered and was strewn about. So it's... okay. As a result, I was incomplete. Right. <laughs> Even so... You were far stronger than I anticipated. Since I could not defeat you, my only option was to seal you away. And now he's unsealed? Did we unseal him by killing all the other Arcana? Under the circumstances, 
There was only one suitable vessel. Are we, are we talking about Echo here? We're talking about Echo. That's why, that's why we knew him, right? Why we started seeing things. A human girl who happened to be Oh my nearby. gosh, that's why she, that's why she knew us. And why Faris kept going, um, don't forget me. You've forgotten me, haven't you? Like, we totally had forgotten him. I had no other choice. Did she always know this, or did she just remember it recently? Echo. Look at my little Echo. My little six-year-old self? Ten? No. Mm. It was ten years ago, so it would be like six or seven-year-old. I see. I was inside her all this oh, time. Do you have to say it like that? It makes me cringe just a little bit. And I unwittingly led her to my twelve missing pieces. I feel like you led. No, I feel like. No, no. Yeah, I feel like they went. They came to us, not me. Go to them. And then. And then. I see. I understand now. I don't. Things are starting to slot into place, but not everything. I remember everything. Oh dear. Who and what I am. A machine is created for a purpose. Mine is to defeat you. That is the purpose of my existence. Are you guys gonna fight now? It doesn't have to be that way. I feel like you won't win against him. I love you, but I feel like that's the case. That you're gonna just get destroyed. I guess. I guess, please. Palladian. Nope, she's not gonna stop. Don't be foolish, I guess. She's just, oh my god, she's gonna get her ass kicked. Please don't, please don't, Ryuji, Ryuji, please don't kill I guess. Please, please, I can't have another friend gone, please. I mean, technically Chidori wasn't my friend, but Ikuski was somebody that I was supposed to trust. And I don't like how calmly you're saying you don't be foolish, I guess. I'm different than before. There's no way you can win. I feel like she didn't even win the first time. Please, Ryoji, please. I'm sorry. Oh god, please, Ryoji. <laughs> I guess was knocked back without setting a finger on Ryoji. <clears throat> Is she still alive? I guess his chassis was heavily damaged from being slammed into the ground with such force. Okay. I'm sorry. <gasps> Fuck! No, don't kill my girl, please! Please, I'll be very annoyed. I'll be sad. You're right. You have made me sad. This mission appears impossible. A machine that cannot fulfill its purpose has no oh, worth. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, please. Stop. I'm sorry, everyone. Echo Sam. Oh, God. I'm scared. Oh, my God. You can't say that. You can't say that. You can't make us say that. Please. Oh, thank fuck. Thank fuck. Please, Fuka, you'll have to censor. Please. 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 We can't have Igus die. Please. Fuka has summoned Juno and Mitsuyu is manning the equipment nearby. Juno! Wait. Did something happen? <laughs> Not, nothing's happened yet. Unless Fuka's already, like, sensed this happening in the bridge. Yukari, is something wrong? Well, it's a full moon tonight. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Any of us could have actually slept on a full moon. You noticed it too, didn't you, Senpai? Jeez, I'm starting to feel like a workaholic. Please, I, I sincerely can't have her die. Like sincerely, please, please. You guys need to find her, please. Oh no! Did something? I don't think anything's happened yet. We don't know anything for sure. 
However, we can't find Igis. <sighs> Please. Huh. Where would she have gone? Who knows? Who knows? I sensed a persona, but it quickly disappeared. And soon after that, I oh. couldn't detect the Wait, wait, presence. you can't sense her presence? Does that mean that she's gone gone? Could it have been Strega? Well, where did you sense it? We need to go find her. Well, she hasn't sensed any of their members, but we can't be positive. So we should go out and find her, please. I've confirmed Igus's location. Okay, okay. She's on the Moonlight Bridge. Well, we need to go find her. All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on there. Yep, 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 yep. You rushed to the Moonlight Bridge. Please don't let her die, please. Agus's body is heavily damaged. Parts of it are strewn everywhere. I guess. I guess is barking. I guess is not barking. Kumamaru is barking. I'm sorry. I. I. Remember everything. Who I am. Who he is. Okay. I guess stretched out her worn hands. You gently took it in yours. Why am I getting emotional? Echo san. I know why I wanted to be by your side. Look at her eyes and her, her like ear thing has been ripped off. And does she only have one hand? I can't tell. I'm sorry. I failed. Didn't fail. Oh. I don't know what to say to her. I feel like I feel like that's a lie, but I want to tell her that. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be fine. Sorry. We're gonna fix you up. Never mind the fact that the last person who fixed you up is now dead. We'll fix you up good and proper, okay? There's no need for you to apologize. Wait, Ryuji's are you still here? Why are you still here? You? Oh no, we know that he's a bad guy, but he doesn't seem like a truly bad guy. Ryoji code? What are you doing here, boy? Wait, what are you doing here? I guess. Is I just trying to get up to protect us? If she is, she's gonna break my heart. I guess it's no longer moving? No! It seems she stopped functioning. What's going on? I don't fucking know, but I guess it's dead. It's all my fault. You killed her, yeah, it is your fault. What? You did this? Akihiko, wait. He's not showing any signs. It doesn't of change the fact that he did this and I'm crying. Tell us. <laughs> Who are you? What are you? Why do you say it like that? Why do you say what are you? I'm the same as the beings you call shadows. What? You're a shadow? I'm the embodiment of all shadows. Of all shadows. The appraiser. Born from the union of the twelve arcana. Okay, so us killing all the other twelve definitely brought him back to being normal again then. And that Pharos part was just a bit that we'd taken, the bit that had been sealed inside us. The appraiser? The, no, not the Reaper. The Reaper is something else. I remember everything now. The frightening truth about myself and shadows. What do you mean, frightening truth? It's all so hard to believe. Yes, it is. You know the truth about shadows? I do. What's that? I feel like it's not gonna be a good news. What? The shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal oh, being. Oh, yeah, that, mm, that doesn't sound good. The maternal being will begin to awaken as she is drawn to me. And now that you're back, that's gonna happen, right? The appraiser. You, you're the appraiser? That's right. What is this 
Maternal being. I really don't want to know. She is a great entity. There is no comparable word in your language for her. Ten years ago, a man collected a great number of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. Ikutsuki. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke in an incomplete state. And that's Yukari's father? Not long after, I fell to Aegis, as she did to me. Aegis? That's what she said happened, isn't it? That she fought a shadow. Is that true, Ryoji? I mean, he just said it. Why would he lie? She knew she could not defeat me. So in an act of desperation, she sealed me within a child who happened to be standing nearby. So I guess and Ryoji's fight totally killed our parents as well. Or would it, would it have been the explosion that killed her parents? My parents. I don't know. That child grew up carrying me inside her and by a twist of fate she later returned here which woke you up and started this whole process as a transfer student oh everybody stares at me now right what do you mean dot 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 everyone is looking at you in shock i'm probably also shocked yes echo I lived inside her. I hate the way that you say it. I hate the way that says. Huh? Ryoji was inside of you. Inside her? Her special persona awakened. When we first did it and it turned into that one that just pummeled the other persona. As did the twelve shadows. All in order to become Which one Which is why they me. all seem to like come to me. Ryoji's? The Upriser? You're like, you're like 10 steps behind us, Junpei, please. And he was inside her body? Please, please don't say it like that. None of this makes sense. No, not really. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. I think it's not really your fault. I feel like you were just like a mindless shadow like all the others. There's more I need to tell you. Oh, now he's fallen unconscious. <clears throat> Wonderful. Ryoji lost consciousness and fell to the ground. He appears to be exhausted. Yeah, it's probably exhausting to get like all of your memories back. And plus, I don't know how human he actually is. Isn't it a thing where they get really tired first time that they awake in the dark hour? Let's let him rest. <laughs> we have Igis to attend. Okay, to so well. we can save her. We'll continue our talk later. So we can save her. You are in shock at what you've just heard. Ryoji lived inside you for 10 years, waiting to make contact with the 12 shadows. What the fuck is this game? And the boy named Pharos was actually Ryoji. So many questions remained unanswered. However, Ryoji is unconscious. You took Ryoji and Agus home. I'm still sick. I feel like that is appropriate because there's no way I would have like learned anything. Like I wouldn't have been able to rest after that, so I wouldn't have been able to heal. Classroom 2F. Mitsuru walked in. I didn't even think about me being sick. I feel like I should have like realized that and done something just in case with the full moon. Here's that's that's good. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Okay. Okay. All right then. I'll see you later. You will see us later. Damn that Ryoji. I don't think he was like trying to get us being friends with you. <sighs> But he was just feeling better and now he thinks that his good friend was just like horrible and evil the entire time. The command room. Everyone has gathered. Ryoji is sitting on the far sofa, hanging his head. Is everyone present? I feel like we all did not want to miss this. Are you okay, Ryoji kun? Yeah, I'm okay. <clears throat> Thanks. You're welcome. Besides. 
There's more I have to tell you guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Anything worse? Ryoji-kun. There are many questions we need answered. To begin with, you said shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Well, and... Yeah, why? Please elaborate on this. The maternal being is called Nyx. Why couldn't you have said that name earlier? Who the hell's Nyx? That's not good, right? It's... Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death to this world. Yeah, vaguely recall this. With my Hades playthrough. She was like Thanatos' mother, who is basically death, right? If she is awakened, <laughs> darkness will once again cover the land and all life will vanish. Oh, okay. Everything will die. That's not good. All life will vanish. Are you saying everyone will die? I think that's what he's saying, because that's also what I got from that. It would be more accurate to say that everyone will forfeit the will to live. What the fuck does that mean? Are you talking about the lost? Oh, that's probably worse. Everyone seems to be coming to the same conclusion. Every human being will become like the lost, leading to the extinction of mankind and the end of the world. So we technically will all die as well. The fall. But it's still possible to keep it from happening, right? <sighs> Maybe. Maybe not. What? There's no way to prevent it? We can't just do nothing. I'm sorry. Oh, baby, don't cry, please. Wait, what are you apologizing for? Because he doesn't think it's possible. He thinks that he's going to kill everybody. He's going to help kill everybody. Are you saying it's for certain? Yes. You heard the bell. The bell? I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. My existence is the affirmation of the fall. The affirmation of the fall? Everyone is at a loss for words. It is inevitable. The entire human race will become members of the lost. Ryoji's existence confirms the impending extinction of mankind. What the fuck is this game? I feel like December should be like the end of this game and yet they're like, oh, we... The world's gonna end. That can't be. When? When will it happen? I'm afraid you will not live to see spring. That that's still like what? Four months? Three months? But that's not too far away. <sighs> <sighs> what are you guys freaking out about? I kind of agree with Junpei. We've gotta tie. Can't just give all. All we have to do is defeat this Nyx. I, I feel like that's exactly what we're going to do, Jinpei. But I can't believe that's just like your response to this. And that won't be a problem because we've never lost. I just got completely stomped by by Ryoji. Okay, we need we need to help boost this team. We're the leader. Yeah, we'll beat it. Defeating Nyx is impossible. I disagree. It has nothing to do with strength, ability, or power. Just as all living things die and the flow of time is continuous, Nyx cannot be defeated. I disagree. We'll just I don't know, push it away. What? That's bullshit. This is all so sudden. Oh shit, we've got the little ten year old boy. Just, just, he's here and he knows that the world is going to end and everybody's gonna die. I'm really sorry you're here, Ken. The others are startled. I was born from a collection of shadows. But now I have a human form. So I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. Yeah. Like I said, he was a, just a, like the shadow, like a mindless being, and now he's like, he's he's had that humanity, and he's like, 
I don't want that to happen. All gifts I received because I was inside her. Stop saying it like that, please. It's a very sweet thing. Of all the people on Earth, it was she who carried I me. feel like anybody on Earth, and you would have felt these. Actually, if it was like a member of Strager, they'd probably, you'd probably still be down to defeat, to destroy the Earth. <sighs> Thanks to that. I am able to give you a choice. A choice? A choice? Nix's coming cannot be avoided. Okay. But it is possible to live in peace until she arrives. You'll have to kill me. If I were to disappear, all memories of the Dark Hour would disappear with me. Right. As would any recollection of the fate that awaits you. So we'd forget everything until the end came. You won't remember anything. We won't be able to try and stop her. The coming of the fall will be instantaneous, and you will not suffer. We'll forget everything? You'll be able to return to your normal lives. For like, what, four months? And in doing so, the time until the fall will be slightly delayed. How slightly? In essence... I am the same as Nyx and cannot be killed. So you'd reform? But thanks to her, there's a part of me that's human. So if death comes from her hands, I think it may be possible. To completely kill you. Ryoji is looking at you. Ryoji kun. You want me to kill you? Oh my god. If you don't kill me, you will suffer more than you could ever imagine. With no hope for salvation. You will live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. <laughs> oh, please. I, I can't make this decision. I, I don't want you to have to endure such pain. I, I don't think I could You're kill so you. Kind. I'm sorry to put you through this. Yeah, I mean, he's probably like, oh, relax. I mean, you know, you won't remember killing me. That's not the point, dude. I don't want my memories to be erased. You heard her? To forget everything would be like hiding from the truth. Would that really be such a bad thing? Yes. Yes, it would. All that awaits you now is despair. You don't know the terror of absolute death. I mean, we don't know the terror of normal death. Please, don't make your decision without at least thinking about what I've said. <sighs> Why is this happening? <laughs> I really, I really need this little boy to go away. <laughs> I really, I love you, Ken, but I, I, I feel like if I could, like, make just one person forget, it would be Ken because his ten-year-old boy should not be foisted with this knowledge. <sighs> Ryoji silently stood up. You don't have to decide right now. I don't want to decide at all. You have until December thirty-first, New Year's Eve, to think about it. Okay. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and become intangible. And then there'll be no way to stop heads. Ryoji. If we changed our minds afterwards, we're not going to change our minds. I will disappear with the coming of Nyx anyways. I've, I have, I, I, if I'm the only one that can kill you, this is my decision, and no. So don't worry about me. We've got, we've got like, just under a month to think of something else that we could do, okay? Boys and girls. I'll be back on New Year's Eve. Bye. Ryoji, wait! Ryoji is gone. He disappeared, just like Palos. Ryoji-kun. Holy, holy shit. <laughs> I need to give this boy a hug. We will see him again on New Year's Eve. We need to make our decision, man. Ryoji's revelation was all too devastating. The world will soon perish. That mankind will perish. And the only option you are given 
is the right to choose how to die. I mean, in the end, we die the same way, right? We just be aware of it happening to us. Death is inevitable. Death is always inevitable. The appraiser truly brought about the death sentence. You cannot think clearly right now. How does a person choose the way he will die? I, I just, I don't know how to react to anything now. <laughs> and we just go straight back to school like nothing's changed. You overhear the conversation. I heard some people saying that apathy syndrome is nothing to worry about. I can tell you it is. I heard the same thing. It puts people at ease, right? Yeah, it certainly does for me. You think it's some new religion? What are you t What? Are you taking this seriously? Uh, of course not. The first bell has rung. I've never wanted to talk to somebody more. Hey, Jinpei. There's no way I can concentrate on school now, man. Uh, let's get going. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like we wouldn't be able to concentrate on school. What am I doing? I'm going to the mall. Why does everybody want to see my goddamn room? It's just a normal goddamn room. In front of the door. So this is your home. Yes, it is. Well, I wouldn't say home, but this is where I'm living, yes. Hmm. Hmm. Um, it's late, I know, to mention this. But is it permissible for me to enter? Uh, well, you asked to see my room, didn't you? You let the O to your room. Ah, I God, see. I've got a strange 20-year-old man. 20, 20-something-year-old 20 man in my room. I really hope nobody sees him because I'll be in trouble. Especially because the last guy ended up being a, you know... Shadow. <laughs> Are you a shadow? You're definitely something. What's with that smile? Hmm? Oh, pardon me. Was I smiling? Yeah. Yes, you were. Your presence is strong here. That's my room. It'd be weird if it wasn't strong. This is where I sleep, like 24... 24 7? Seven days a week. Perhaps one would call it... Your scent. Hmm... Perhaps we shouldn't call it that. What kind of scent is that? Hmm, Morbidly curious. Question. It would be meaningless to break it down into its component chemicals. It's neither good nor bad. Oh, okay. I'll try not to be a little offended by that. Hmm. If I were to dare hazard an opinion, I like it. Okay, that's good. Uh, uh. Hmm. <laughs> By the way, regarding my request this time... What about it? Um, didn't it make you uncomfortable? I'm pretty much just dead at the moment. I, I have no, like, shock value left. I, I met a guy. He seemed all right. Uh, one of my friends didn't like him. Turns out he's, like, the, the, the start of the apocalypse. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, with you asking, no. Uh -huh. uh, indeed. And that was not a romantic thing. You're way too old for me. Or way too young for me if you were created by Igor and the Velvet Room. <laughs> if that's so, then I'm glad to Which hear it. It's a weird thing to think about. This world is filled with exquisite brilliance. Yeah, it is. I agree with that. The station, the shrine, the school, all had their unique charms. Is this the last date that we're going on? Because I feel like there's nowhere else we could go other than my room. Every moment of the short time I spent with you is an unforgettable memory. That's sweet of you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This will be the last of my requests. Oh, thank you to for answering me. World. Which means this will be the last chance I have to spend time alone with you. Oh, that's sweet. Hmm. 
You have carried out my request to the fullest. I mean, you just asked to see my room. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. I, I, I don't want this to end. Well, everything's ending soon, so I have to thank you too. I'm glad to hear that you enjoyed it as well. It's nice talking to you away from the creepy dude that you live with. Then, I must say goodbye now. Now? If I stay in this world for much longer, I may forget my duties oh, that'd entirely. Oh, that be devastating. And that would put you at a serious disadvantage. Probably. I feel like Ego does, like, no work at all. That's why. This will be the last time. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Your hand. Please. Flashbacks to Igus asking for my hand. For the last time. You return to the Velvet Room with Theo. Okay. It's Sunday. There's no school. Yay. Let's, uh, let's watch Tanaka on TV. What have we got? Row 3, that's useful. Don't know whether I'll use it, but I'll buy it. I've got the money. We bought growth 3, thank you. And it's a Sunday, so I'm totally not in the mood, but let's talk to the uh, the dying young man. Hey, you know, if you make it until uh, April, We'll all die together, isn't that fun? Why don't you have a seat? This bench is too big for me. If he wants the pleasure of my company, well then let's chat with him. I'm still writing more of my story. How much did I tell you about? Alright, the pink alligator and the bird had become friends, right? I have to admit, I can't remember anything of your story. I'm really sorry. That was the alligator's first friend, and he was very happy. They started going to the river every day, and the little bird would sing while the alligator listened. But again, the alligator couldn't catch food easily because of his colour. Pink is such an odd colour. His prey in the jungle saw him from far away, and had plenty of time to escape. He became so hungry that he was dizzy most of the time. Is this a kid's thing, or is it just a... A weird thing. And he accidentally ate the bird one afternoon as it slept in his mouth? What the fuck? Of course, he realised his mistake immediately. He drank swamp water to induce vomiting, but the bird was already dead when he retrieved it. Oh my god. After that, he couldn't bring himself to eat everything. Anything. I'm... This story was not helpful. That's as far as I've written. I haven't decided on an ending. Hmm. That's gloomy. It really felt like dark. I don't know. For me, it's hard to tell. I mean, a couple of days ago, I found out the world was going to end soon. So I guess, yes, it felt dark to me. The words I use to come out for my life, you know? So they may seem depressing to you. But to me, that's just life. Akinari is nodding knowingly. So before I mentioned I was writing a diary, that was a lie. I was writing my will. I couldn't face reality and I was essentially screaming curses into my notebook. But for now I'm writing my story in the same notebook. It probably isn't very good, but it contains some things I've learned during my short life. When it's done, I want you to read it. I mean, meeting you is the main reason I started writing it. Akinari looks into your eyes. Your relationship is stronger now. I feel even more depressed talking to you than I usually do. I'm sorry, dude. That's just the okay. case. Rank up. Nice. Rank seven. Lovely. 
I'm trying really hard to come up with a good ending, but I can't decide. I don't have much time to spare. I feel like I'd like the ending to be he eventually dies of starvation and he, like, his last dying thoughts are of his friend. Maybe? I hope we can chat more later. Me too. Decided to go back to the dorm. Good morning. Did you talk to the others? I have been. We're just going around in circles at the moment. Yes, I see. Well, I feel the same as the others. We can't continue on like this. We should talk with everyone tonight, okay? Okay, we're talking about this, as Mitsuru said, are we? I mean, has anybody got any ideas? I've been talking to people, but... They're just like, I can't believe Ryuji said that, and darn that Ryuji, and oh poor Ryuji-kun. Everyone has gathered. It's been apparently a week, so ooh. Well, it's been a week. What are we gonna There's do? There's only one thing we can do. You okay, Fuka? I mean... Why are you focusing on Fuka? You just seem so calm. She's already made her decision. She's like, no, we we've got to fight. We have to make a decision. I mean, it's been such a drag around here lately, and no one will go to Tartarus. Yeah, that's true. I've not tried, but now that you said that, Fuka's not been offering. You're right. We humans are quite resilient. We can adapt to any situation we given humans. enough time. I don't like the way that you said that. So how about it, everyone? Why don't we talk about it? <sighs> Have you made your decision, Tsunada-san? <laughs> I mean, you guys can make the decision all you want. At the end of the day, this decision is down to me. I'm the only one who can kill him. No. And I'm sorry, but I'm not going to do that. Not just because he's my friend, but also because that's a stupid way. That's just guaranteed death in like a couple of months. But I don't plan on running away. Well then, that is a decision. Forgetting everything about the Dark Tower until death is running away. So you're going to fight Nyx? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's supposedly undefeatable. And I bet, I bet 10 years ago, uh, Ryoji would have been like, it's impossible for me to change. This is what I am. And he changed. What about you? What are your thoughts on it? Honestly, this is the first time I've ever really contemplated my own That's death. That's kind of weird. I feel like you should have comp contemplated your death. Like, not just because it's when your father died, but... We were all, like, crucified. Did you not think that Ikutsuki was going to kill us all? It's quite a sobering thought. And my character gets sick so much, I contemplate her death all the time. I don't want to suffer. And I don't want to kill Ryoji. But either way, we still die. So there is no simple answer. Then do we all agree that we don't want to hurt Ryoji-kun? Is that how you feel? Well, I... Um... I guess Fuka's got a crush on Ryuji-kun. That's what I get from this. It's okay, Fuka. I mean, it's not natural to choose how you're going to die. What about you, Junpei? Have you decided? No. Well, you guys are crap. What's the matter? Scared? Yukari, this is not the time or place. What the hell do you mean by that? You think this is a joke? <laughs> you also reacted way too badly about that, Junpei. Junpei, I... She's trying to make light of the situation. We're going to die. Of course I'm scared. We were always going to die. You all need to wake up. This is death we're talking about here. <laughs> and his girlfriend did just die, Yukari. Bad timing. That's all. Everyone remained silent, having nothing to say. Then what do you want to do? Do you want to kill him? No. There's nothing I can do. 
The only one who can kill Oh, him. I guess Jinpei's like made the leap, but I'm the only one that can make this decision. Because you could all agree on one thing, and I could be like, actually, no, we're going to go with the other option. Mm. Echo. Yep, yeah, that's me. <laughs> it's my decision, huh? Did you never notice? What, that I had another person inside me? Yes! You had that thing inside you, and you didn't notice? I mean, I tried to tell quite a lot of people about the little boy that I kept imagining. And people were like, little boy, what are you talking about? And then eventually I just stopped. You know, I mean, because... He... I mean, I noticed him, but I didn't know he was inside of me. I, I fantasize that there's a velvet door, and inside the velvet door is a very old man with a long nose, and a very... 20 something young man in a nice blue outfit. Are they inside of me? You're the one that raised it. You're the one that brought about I'm the not, fall. I didn't raise it. Stop saying uh, the way that you guys keep saying that the being is inside me, and now you've said raised it. It just gives me the connotations of like my character was pregnant and gave birth to the Antichrist. That is not happening. This, that is not what happened here. And then I was, I, I said that and I was like, wait, what was the math of this? We started in April. What is nine months? So April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. December is the ninth month. So kind of makes sense that he has now been birthed. <laughs> Actually it was last month. So I guess, I guess I gave birth to him prematurely. I need to stop this conversation. Junpei, you need to stop blaming me for everything as I'll punch you in the face. And you can blame me for that. Junpei! Can't you, can't you do anything about it? I can kill him. I mean, if I can kill him, maybe I can kill Nyx. I can't help it. I'm sorry I didn't notice. Uh, yeah, I can't help Stop it. Junpei. It's not her It's fault. not my fault. I'm just the easy one to blame. Her carrying it is the only reason we even Stop. have this choice. Stop saying it like that. It makes me think I was pregnant. I know that, damn it, but in my head, I might know. Yeah, your heart is something else then, huh? Junpei is biting his lip. But even though I know thinking about even it might not solve anything, I... I'm still scared, damn it. You're allowed to be scared, just don't lash out at me. We're I all scared. Yeah, we're all sorry, scared. Sorry, sorry, Fuga, I did not mean to interrupt you there. Yes. I can't stop shaking. Me either. Yeah, you didn't sleep for like three days after we owed you last time, I'm sorry I teased you, Junpei. I was just trying to lighten up the situation. Yes. Inappropriate time, Yukari. Personally, I don't want to forget everything. I've learned so much since coming here. Yucatan. I'm sorry I kept yelling like that. It's just the way you react to stuff, isn't it? I don't think any of us could have stood up to you right now, Junpei. So, don't worry about it. Right? Oh yeah, no problem. Just stop making a habit of it. I'm hurt. I'm sorry. I don't like any of the- I- I think I am actually hurt that you yell at me, but I don't think- I don't think Echo would say that. And I also don't think she'd say I'm sorry. No, I'm gonna go with the I'm sorry because I don't like the other two. I want something in between, like, it's okay. You don't have to apologize. I know this isn't your fault. I know, but I feel like I, I also feel like it's my fault, okay? I feel like if I was a character in this game, I I would have mentioned that I was seeing a little boy that made me think of death. I didn't mean to lash out at you earlier. I also would have said, well, I don't know what else I would have said. All right. I don't think we're prepared to make a decision just yet. We've still got about 20 days. Ryoji said he'll be back on New Year's Eve. So we still have some time to think about it. Um, we should think about it. 
So until then, let's just try to live our lives as normally as possible. I feel like that's a bad decision. I feel like we need to make the decision now and when we fight Nyx to have a plan. Hey, it's Sunday again. And I have to admit, I've done barely anything this week except for that conversation that we had. And I was like, I'm getting to the point where there's no social links whatsoever. It's just, I mean, yeah, because I've done all the ones that happened at night. And I think all I have left is Mitsuru and the, the Akinari that's today. Let me have a quick look. That's the wrong thing. I keep going into that. Yeah, so Seas is automatic. Mitsuru has just not been available this week, which is understandable with the story. Uh, Ryoji. I assume I'll get his final rank on New Year's Eve. If I don't kill him, anyway. Shin... Oh, no. I was like, Shinjo, I didn't finish your thing. And then I was like, no, no, it's this one. Yeah, so it's Akinari. So, yeah, I've just got those two. And when they're not available, it's like, what else do I do except go to the... Um, go to the arcade and just, like, buff my personas up a little bit. I mean, I also, like, go and then don't level up with people. Or at least I used to do before. I uh, didn't have any more people to do that with. Ah, oh, we got a Soma. Okay, I didn't know what I'd bought. I was just like, yeah, I've got the money for it. I can splurge a lot. Let's go to the shrine and talk to Akinari. He's usually here. And then it'll... It'll be like a blink of an eye until I talk to him again next weekend because it's the exams this week. So, yay. He seems to be ill. I think he's always ill. If you don't mind, please stay until I've recovered my breath. Yeah, we'll talk with him. How have you been doing? Gasp, wheeze, wheeze. Just give me a moment so I can calm down. I'm not going to try and encourage him. I'll just stay with him. False alarm. I had some pain, but it's better now. It's still very awkward to talk to this guy now knowing that the world is going to end and everybody is going to die. It's calming down. Thanks. He smiled at you. I stopped taking my medicine. It's not going to fix me anyway, right? It just helps for the pain and spasming. Uh, why? Yeah, you should still take it, even if it's not helping. It's going to make your last days easier. My medicine makes me drowsy, and if my hands go numb, then I can't write anything. I have to finish my story. He's determined. The reason my story's unfinished... It's because I haven't found the meaning of life yet. There is no meaning of life, my man. I get lost in my writing, erase it, and then don't know where to go next. When we're talking, I have a clearer picture. I can almost see it. It seems like that might be the meaning of life for me. I'm probably writing this book to find the meaning of life. Stop saying the meaning of life. Well, if I do find it and finish the story... I hope we get a little more time together after that. He smiled weakly. Your relationship is stronger now, I guess. I guess. I kind of, I kind of like, I, d I like the, the relationship we have now in the context of my character knowing that the world is going to end soon. It, it, you know, and everybody's going to die. I just like that idea that, you know, I'm also technically feeling these feelings, but I can't tell him that I'm feeling these things. So we're rank eight. I'll see you next week after my exam. The sun is setting. I hope to see you again. Me too. You decided to go back to the dorm. Okay, Monday, beginning of exams. Second semester final exams begin today and last for six days. 
So Saturday? Yeah, that sounds right. <clears throat> this question seems familiar. What year did the Battle of Danuura begin? Mm. That one, I believe. I feel confident. Hell yeah. That was a guess. I like the number three. <laughs> oh dear. This question also seems familiar. Which element is found in ozone? That'd be the oxygen. Yes. That's why it's called ozone. Which actually doesn't make sense. Maybe I just automatically know that oxygen is in the ozone. I was like, ozone and oxygen are practically the same word. And then realised that, no, it's not. Which rule relates to Lament's Force? Um, the left hand rule. Maybe. Feel confident about your answer. Okay, okay. Okay. Translate the following. Do you want to submit a... Uh, is it winter morning the pleasant? That sounds familiar. Both of them sound familiar, you know? Yes. Friday. This question seems familiar. Which plural form is for which plural is formed correctly? Sheeps, mooses, indexes, cacti. Well I know it's cacti, but is indexes right? Or would it just be X and then S? Don't know, don't know. And it's Saturday now. And we're at home still, and we got our box of Soma. I've already forgotten what it is that I ordered. It's the last day of the exams. The questions are just too easy. Your pen won't stop moving. Hell yeah. Mwah. Today's exams have ended. Oh, I wonder if Mitsui was available. You are available. Nice. Okamoto. What a coincidence. Are you on your way home? If you're not busy, would you like to do something? Mitsui seems to want to walk home together. Yeah. I would love to spend some time with you. I hope we don't go out to eat again. But I feel like that's just what I do with like a lot of these social links. Of, you know, the C's. Because it's her... It's Ken, it's Junpei, it's Akihiko, I think I also went out with Shinji. It's like, we could have done other stuff than gone out to eat. Octopia. Interesting. So Takayaki doesn't consist of an entire octopus, only a small portion. Well, it makes sense. An entire octopus would be too much food for one person. I guess... Ah, sometimes I'm amazed at my ignorance of the world. I wouldn't have known that. Mitsui seems dejected. Ah, uh, I don't think me treating her would cheer up. She's like very rich. Uh, we'll just move on, okay? Let's eat. You're right. I will have one takoyaki, please. What? Takoyaki isn't sold in individual pieces? So I can buy a dozen at this size? Mitsuru seems amazed at the low price. Yeah, you probably went to like really pricey restaurants. Mitsuru is enjoying it, that's good. So it's filled with diced octopus inside. Interesting. Not according, not according to Theo. Mmm, it tastes slightly sour. Are there other ingredients in addition to the octopus? I'm pretty sure. Well, whatever they may be, they taste absolutely delicious. Say Trebion. Trebon. 
a zoo has discovered how delicious takiyaki tastes. You feel that you understand her better now. How the fuck do you know her better now? She's just hanging out with you to like get the peasant viewing. Actually, that sounds a bit too mean. That's not actually true. I mean, it is true, but like, she trusts us, so it, it's nice. That reminds me of what Akihiko was talking about when we walked past here. Don't you think Akihiko has been acting differently lately? I don't mean to be rude, it's just that I've known him for such a long time. See, that it's kind of weird that she's asking this conversation, that this conversation is happening. And she's like, I wonder why he's acting weird. Well, we're like in December and, uh, you know, his friend has been killed. We've just found out that the world is going to end. Uh, you know, other stuff as well. He's getting over his sister's death finally. And it's like... Why, why, why would you not think that he was being different? Perhaps he's just maturing. Does that make you happy? Of course that makes me happy. With all we've been through, it can be difficult to get over our pasts. However, Akihiko is trying to learn from his experiences. I'm very impressed by him. She seems happy. When I look at Akihiko, I'm, reminding, I'm reminded of so many things about myself. I can't explain why though. Mm. I think that's anxiety. Anxiety? Hmm. Maybe so. Her expression- oh shit, I shouldn't have said that. Her expression turned dark. Perhaps I feel pressed for time because I'm the only one of us who isn't growing. That's not true. Let's just forget about this. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Sorry for subjecting you to my incoherent ramblings. Please forget what I just said. Okay. Thank you. Mitsuri seems relieved. The takiyaki was absolutely delicious. We should eat here again sometime. After saying goodbye to Mitsuri, you decided to return to the dorm. Now it's Sunday again. Time flies when you're doing exams. What have we got from Tanaka? Oh, okay, never mind. Try and remember after this. Yukari, how are you doing? Why yes, is there no who music? Is who is it? Mitsuru or Fuka? It's me. Mitsuru. Oh. What does she want? Advice? Mitsu, what are you doing? You don't stop by very often, senpai. She, you're pretty much the only person she visits at your room. Like she's been round to your like room like three times. It feels like. Is something wrong? No, I just wanted to talk. Just wants to hang out. You're like her best female friend. Ah, are you feeling warm, we? <laughs> don't. Uh, what the hell is wrong with you, Yukari? This is just like a really inappropriate use of... No, the humor's fine, actually, but it's weird that she found out the world's gonna end and she's going, like, making jokes and stuff. Hey, are you teasing me? She is. No! Well, maybe just a little. <laughs> I wonder what this mix is like. Uh, bad. Bad news. Hey. Do you think it's inside Tartarus? Maybe. Maybe we climb up to the top of the tower and then we beat her. I have no idea. I feel like where else would she be, right? Like, there's nowhere else. I mean, I was... Oh my god, I'm a stupid idiot. <laughs> I was just about to say, maybe she's at the school. <laughs> I just feel like there's not that many, like, places. That we haven't already fought a shadow. So it makes sense that it would be there. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. You've made your decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. Excellent. Remember to let me know this. That's why you're here, isn't it, Senpai? To talk about our decision? I, I guess it is. I think she also wanted to see if you were okay. <laughs> you're so easy to read. 
I've made my decision as well. What is it? Suijo is making great strides to turn itself around. After I graduate, I plan to assume leadership oh. of the group and continue where my father left off. Nice. I feel like you should wait and go to college and get a business degree, but that sounds like a great plan. I cannot turn back now, even if I wanted to. But what if you die? <laughs> well, if she dies, everybody else dies and it won't matter. If I die defeating Nyx, then the Carijo group will have to continue on without me. That's true, that's true. But I am confident they would fulfill my wishes. I don't know why. The one guy that we knew that sort of like worked for your group betrayed us. Ryoji said Nyx can't be defeated. But I kind of wonder about that. You got a plan? You got an idea? I don't think our special member can be killed either. A special member? I agree. Who are we talking about here? Is that... Oh. I don't know who they're talking about, whether it's me, but I just remembered about Igus. Is she okay? Death dwelled within her. Oh, we are talking her about me. Though she was exceptional to begin with. We are talking about me. I'm giving you guys hope. She's been burdened with so much, and she's still so cheerful all the time. I feel like I'm cracking at the edges. I feel like Echo is definitely cracking around the edges. Like, I'm getting really... Not spiteful, I'm getting really snappy at Kari making jokes. And it's like, you know, it's okay. I feel like it's because of her that I've been able to get through all this. Oh my god, that's so sweet. I really need to hear this in person, though. Maybe all this fighting isn't so bad. I at least got the best friends of my life out of the deal. Oh, you also got to find out the truth about your father. But, oh, <laughs> My girls, I need to give you a hug. You're right. You know, if things don't work out, I think I'll still be okay as long as oh, I'm with everyone. Yeah, we died together. Honestly, it doesn't matter whether or not we die. All that matters is that we're proud of how we lived. Yukari, where is this maturity is very beautiful. And I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Hell yeah. Does your decision have anything to do with your father? I think it should. I think she wants to make him proud as well. Mm, a little. But it's more about me and how I feel. I understand. I don't know why I was expecting her to continue talking. Senpai, when we were in Kyoto, you asked me to stand by your side. Do you remember? I kind of hope we get quite a lot of scenes like this over the days until um, until New Year's, Day, New Year's Eve. Because they're kind of making their decision without my character and I kind of love that. Yes, I remember. We will fight together, Yukari. Together. Together. Hey, Akinari. Hey. Why don't you have a seat? I would love to pleasure you with my company. That was not the right way of saying that. I'm glad you seem happy. Cheer up. It can't be all bad. No, I'm kidding. So, I'd like you to congratulate. So, I'd like you to congratulate me. As of today, I am a free individual. What does that mean? You finished the story? Please be that, and not you've decided not to do any more care at the hospital. No, not quite yet. Almost though. Uh, I just got back. From the hospital. They were going to admit me, but not anymore. I guess my body is too weak to undergo surgery, so I refused any medication as well. So much for the hospital, right? Now I'm just waiting for the end. But I don't feel like I'm the only one being singled out anymore. Everyone is waiting to die if you think about it. Some just have longer to wait than others. But once the time comes, 
It's the same for us all. I'm still a little lonely, but I'm not sad anymore. He smiles slightly. I'm a little sad listening to this. I want you to remember what you look like, Echo. You are beautiful. You're like a pristine lake. His smile is tinged with sadness. The relationship is stronger now. Oh. You... Ah, just... Please don't have his laugh thing being his parents showing up and him being dead. And just giving me the book. Because that'll be sad. Okay? Thank you. I'm... I'm a little bit tired today. The story is almost done, so... I can show it to you soon. I decide to go back to the dorm. Happy but I mean Christmas. <laughs> when you see a cake with candles, you get the urge to sing that, huh? I've always wanted to try out this cake. Uh, Bouche de Noël is only sold around Christmas time, huh? Plus this one has chestnuts inside. Oh, sounds delicious. 